This is the Cholo News Report for Friday 31, August 2018. Panasonic announces their intent to move their European headquarters from London to Amsterdam, citing concern over Brexit. The aim is to avoid potential tax issues linked to the UK's decision to leave the EU, said Panasonic Europe's chief executive Laurent Aberdeen. Several Japanese financial companies have said they intend to move their main EU bases away from London. Mr. Aberdeen told the Nikkei Asian Review that Panasonic had been considering the move for 15 months because of Brexit-related concerns such as access to free flow of goods and people. Reuters reports that the Petro, a Venezuelan government bought cryptocurrency, has not been trading and is not publicly accessible despite government claims that it has sold 3.3 billion worth of units, and the fact that it is linked to the nation's physical currency and wages, the government pegged the value of the Petro to the price of one barrel of Venezuelan oil currently around 66, and promised to pack it with crude reserves located in a 380 square kilometer area surrounding Atapiraya. Cryptocurrencies gained popularity over the last decade, led by proponents who said they would lower financial transaction costs, give citizens alternatives to commercial banks and protect them from inflation induced by central bank policies. No matter how much oil it holds, the area lacks crucial infrastructure to get it out of the ground, including roads, pipelines and power generation, said Francisco Monaldi, a native of Venezuela who now teaches Latin American energy policy at Rice University in Houston. A bus crash in Karoo, South Africa, leaves 10 people dead and 30 injured. The horrific news of the Beaufort West bus crash broke earlier on Thursday morning as the death toll reached double figures during the search for survivors. IOL have had it confirmed that six women, three men, and a baby boy aged just two months have been killed. Meanwhile, Sabka reporting that a kudu jumped across the road before the tragic incident. The National Hurricane Center issues advisories for what forecasters call a potential tropical cyclone 6. If it strengthens to a tropical storm, it would be known as Florence. By 11 p.m. Thursday, the potential hurricane brewing off Africa was about was about 260 miles southeast of the Cape Verde Islands, with maximum wind speeds of about 35 miles per hour. Other weather watchers are pointing that conditions in the Atlantic hurricane zone, which includes the Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico, are becoming more hospitable to cyclone formation. Preliminary information indicated the semi was headed east when it blew a tire, sending the rig across the median and into oncoming traffic, where it smashed into the bus, New Mexico State Police said. Nine bus passengers were being treated at University of New Mexico Hospital with three more patients expected to be transported there later Thursday. Truck driver Santos Soto three shot video showing the front of the Greyhound sheared off and the semi split open with its contents strewn across the highway. The Trump administration is considering sending captured ISIL fighters to a prison in Iraq, as well as sending high-valued fighters to the Guantanamo Bay detention camp.